Welcome to my channel. 11 Ways to Beat the Sweet Temptation Chances are you gobbled down way too many Easter eggs this year. And while you may well be on a sugar high, you are probably racked with guilt about the amount of sugar you've consumed in one go. With about 50 grams of sugar, 12 teaspoons, in an average Easter egg, it's not hard to see why you might be looking at ways to cut down on your intake of the white stuff. We all know too much sugar is bad for our health, our waistlines as well as our moods, but that doesn't stop many of us craving it. But if you're not sure you can go the whole hog and give up the sweet white stuff, here Carly Tierney, a nutritionist and personal trainer, shares her advice on how to go about it. 1. Learn where sugar lies. Okay, you know that chocolate, cake and cola are off limits, but sugar will still get you. It can lurk in the least obvious of places. Foods such as breakfast cereal, flavored yogurt, granola bars, fruit, ketchup, salad dressings, pasta sauces and alcohol can all have high sugar content, so make sure you read the labels. 2. Make some small changes first. Rather than cutting out sugar completely, perhaps start with your drinks. Lose the sugar in your tea, switch from squeezed orange juice to flavored water and start checking the sugar content in different brands of the same foods. 3. Don't skip breakfast. Breakfast keeps your blood sugar levels stable, meaning you're less likely to reach for that chocolate bar. An ideal breakfast is something such as oats and a couple of eggs. Last month, Cancer Research UK revealed that people really do love their breakfast, so much so that 80% of people have eaten breakfast foods for dinner at least once. One in three of us eat dinner at least once a week, with eggs on toast being a particular favorite. 4. Limit Alcohol Booze contains more calories than sugar per gram. Not only that but it leads to a vicious cycle for sugary cravings. That is why the morning after a night of drinking our bodies crave sugary, unhealthy food. 5. Exercise This helps to reduce stress levels, which is a major contributor to sweet cravings. Exercise also supports blood sugar level control, leaves you feeling energized, helps you sleep and, of course, improves fitness and health. 6. Don't give up on snacks you can't have that Mars bar, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't eat regular lye. Snacks such as two oat cakes with a slice of avocado and some cottage cheese, or a fat-free Greek yogurt, berries and nuts, are perfect. 7. Get your vitamins. Especially vitamins B and C, which help to produce energy from the food that we eat. 8. Learn the names of other sugars. Fructose, corn syrup, sucrose, etc. Sugar has many guises apparently there are at least 61 different names for it on food labels. Familiarize yourself with them. 9. Save up your sugar for the good stuff. The idea of cutting down on sugar is not to say that you never eat it again, but rather that you save it for treats like a slice of cake. Foods such as soup, dressings, yogurt and cereal don't have to be, and shouldn't be, sugary. 10. Buy unsweetened items. Add more natural flavors such as vanilla, cinnamon, lemon, lime and nutmeg. This is great for your waistline and as tasty. 11. Stick with it. Giving up sugar can initially feel impossible. But if you learn to make your own dressings and get used to the food swaps, you can be sugar savvy. The health benefits outweigh any initial discomfort or frustration. You'll notice that fresh foods taste better than ever as your food habits change and you will find that your cravings naturally drop, they drop.